Hi there, and welcome back to Spirit Sears Cocktail Corner. I'm Steve, and today we're gonna to be making the reconstructed Midori Sour. Now, I know what you're thinking, Midori Sour. Midori Sours are awful. They were a product of the 70s club drinking scene. It's just sugar and a little bit of alcohol, but today's Midori Sour is a little bit different, so bear with me. So, we are going to start this drink, which will be shaken, with one and a half ounces of Mezcal. Um, anytime I'm using Mezcal in a cocktail, I tend to reach for Oaxaca Espadine. It's uh, not too overpowering with the smoke, but it has a lot of citrus notes as well. It'll go really well with our Midori. So one and a half ounces of the uh, Oaxaca in our tin. Then we're gonna go with three quarters of an ounce of Midori. Uh, Midori gets a bad rap. Doesn't get used much anymore, but hopefully this drink will help to change that. And if you can't find Midori, there's plenty of other analogs. Any kind of melon liqueur that's also neon green tends to be the same flavor. We're also gonna use yuzu juice. So yuzu is kind of a cross between an orange and a lemon. They grow in uh, Japan. Um, very different flavor than what you're probably used to. We're gonna use half an ounce of that. And then we're going to go with a half an ounce of pineapple juice. Fresh if you can. We're gonna do a quarter ounce of simple syrup. Doesn't require too much because the Midori itself is quite sweet. And then we're gonna put an egg white in our cocktail uh, as this is a sour and the best way to make a sour is with an egg white. See if I can do this without Breaking the yolk. We've been struggling with this batch of eggs today. There we go. And we're gonna give this a dry shake. I wanna make sure we get that sealed up nice and tight. That citrus juice will help to emulsify those proteins. Pop that carefully. It does tend to build up a little bit of a pressure. And then we'll wet shake with ice. You really want to shake that till your tins get nice and cold and frosty. And then we will double strain this into a coupe glass. Uh, you want to double strain your egg white cocktails because if you get any ice chips in there, it will kind of kill the foam. We get this nice kind of emerald green color from that Midori. And let's see what it tastes like. Very creamy mouthfeel, as you'd expect with any egg white cocktail. But the melon is kind of tempered uh, by the very, very tart nature of the, uh, the yuzu juice. And then you get this, this hint of wood smoke on the end. It makes it very complex. The flavor kind of hangs around for a while. Oddly enough, the pineapple gets lost. I really don't taste any pineapple at all. Um, but as far as being an improvement to the original Midori Sour, I would say hands down, yes. Enjoy. <laughs> 